Why is it that many development policies end up being unsustainable? One significant clue is in the three pillars of sustainability framework. Many researchers advocate looking at sustainable development as three pillars – economic, environmental and social. But what happens when policies support only one pillar at the cost of the others? Let us explore the example of wildlife conservation in Kenya. The aim here was to save endangered animals and make progress in achieving SDG 15 – Life on Land. Over the past few decades, rich countries have made significant contribution towards wildlife conservation in Kenya. This meant wildlife reserves became bigger and the animals were no longer endangered. However, this expansion came at a cost. The growing wildlife population started to encroach neighbouring communities' lands. These wild animals would often invade and damage local farmlands. To restore the lands, the poor farmers were often found paying from their own pockets. This gave rise to high levels of poverty in these areas. The big wildlife reserves did attract rich tourists, but the tourism money rarely trickled down to these communities. In other words, trying to achieve SDG 15 made it more difficult to eradicate poverty. Favouring the environmental pillar meant overlooking the social pillar. On the other hand, one of China's primary focus has been to drive economic growth. Started with a reform in 1978 that opened China's market to the world. Since then, China has been enjoying an explosive GDP growth. This has helped lift 850 million people out of poverty, with only 3% of China's population currently below the poverty line. During this period of economic prosperity, China's environmental and social pillars took a hit. A 2017 report estimated that China will suffer a health cost of $1.4 trillion because of its air pollution. On top of this, China's Geological Survey reported that nearly 90% of Chinese cities had polluted groundwater. Simultaneously, China is also dealing with land pollution, deforestation and poor animal welfare. To reverse this damage, the Chinese government have recently passed stricter environmental laws and regulations. The pollution levels have started to decline. However, in the end, China's development policy sacrificed its social and environmental pillar for the economic pillar. It is clear that trying to address any of the three pillars of sustainability in isolation will often result in a trade-off. Imagine the three pillars as actual physical pillars supporting sustainable development. Even if one of the pillars is weak, the whole thing can collapse. Therefore, this will require a balancing approach one where we try to pay equal attention to all the three pillars of sustainability. This is called an integrated approach, where each pillar is evenly shouldering the weight of sustainable development. Here is a quick recap. Saving endangered animals in Kenya gave rise to high levels of poverty. China's remarkable economic prosperity resulted in a dramatic increase in environmental pollution. For development policies to become sustainable, they need to adopt an integrated three pillars framework. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed our video. If you did, leave us a like and subscribe if you haven't already. And let us know in the comments what you'd like us to cover next. If you'd like to learn more about sustainability and test your knowledge, go to our website.